process this year has really impacted me as an instructional leader. I feel more a part of the process. I feel like an instructional facilitator, not an instructional evaluator. It's really opened up the lines of communication between myself and the teachers. Um, it's always also allowed me to be a part of planning. We can work decisions out together. Um, it, it's taught me a way to help teachers reflect on their teaching. One of the things, though, I'd really like to compliment you on, um, you were focusing on questioning mm -hmm. in the Dan Anderson rubric, mm -hmm. and I would really like to, I really like the way you formed your questions. Um, they were not leading whatsoever. You, um, you were asking questions that allowed students to think. Mm -hmm. And you gave them thinking time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So that was that was very impressive. Thank you. At the same time, though, I'm wondering. I mean, how do you take a question and then let it turn into something like a discussion? I think we're like sort of straddling this place now, where we move forward with questionings, but we're not really having a self-guided discussion yet. And I'm wondering, is that do you think that's something we can do in the sixth grade? Have you ever thought about picking a facilitator of the day? A student who can facilitate a class conversation? Mm -hmm. Huh. How would this work? Think about that. Um, if you have a facilita facilitator of the day, mm -hmm. it's, it could be someone who helps to guide that conversation among the students and kind of allows you to step out and think about what the question, think about what you're, the answers you're getting um, which will also help you continue to work on your questioning. That's great. And develop your questioning because you're able to step out and, and really see what your class needs during, discuss during a discussion. So that's something um, that I'd like to see you try in your room. Mm -hmm. It has come away from the stigma of when the administrator comes into your classroom. They know when I come into your classroom I'm not looking for a I gotcha moment. They know I'm looking for ways to help strengthen their teaching. I think the instructional rounds process is uh, very helpful. And I say that because it's important to get feedback from the administration uh, and support as to how instruction is going on and how you're delivering instruction in your classroom. Uh, so when uh, our administration comes in, uh, they come in and they take note of everything that's going on in the class, all the way down to specific things like what the teaching point is, what certain students are doing, uh, how students are engaged or how engaged they are, um, what each student is doing during independent work, and the feedback is, is very helpful in ways that it, 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 it maps out what was seen by the observer or the administrator that comes in at that time. Not only are things mapped out, but feedback is also given. So when, if, if the administrator comes in and they see something that's, that's uh, wonderful and sort of is wowing the students or wowing them, that's expressed in the email. Um, if something comes in and the, and the students seem like they, they're not getting it or it's not really engaging them or if it's, they're not uh, sort of, uh, the instruction is mapped out in a way where they're sort of not following what's going on, then that's something else that's noted as well. I find the instructional rounds process, especially as a first year teacher, to be extremely helpful. And it's something that you have to get used to, having someone come into your room and being on display. It's kind of nerve-wracking, but the process is more observational and not really evaluative. So once you get used to that, it just becomes extremely helpful. And one of the reasons it's, it is so helpful is because the principal or assistant principal is coming into the room and observing and recording everything that's going on. And the amount of detail that's put into this is really helpful because one, it's always nice to have someone who's experienced come into your room and sort of see things that you may not be seeing, but even just having a different perspective. I do find it useful because it helps us sort of refine our instruction 
and to just uh, help us to develop our instructional techniques and craft. It, it's very specific, and I think the fact that it's specific, it, it's not very, it didn't just say, well, everything was great or everything was sort of mediocre. It will say everything went a certain way, but then it'll map out what was seen, and I think that that's the important part that we need to know. What was great about it? Uh, what did you find that was the most helpful for the students? The fact that it's done digitally and we get an email with the observations makes it immediate. I've even had cases where I had an administrator come into my room. She noticed that the YouTube video, it was a song about adaptation, did not have closed captioning. I got her feedback so quickly that by the next period I was able to replace it with a YouTube video that has closed captioning for the students who may not be able to understand the words of a rap first time through. So the fact that I was able to implement these changes so immediately lets me know that this system is pretty effective. Intervisitation within the school, um, going into other rooms, seeing what the best practices are. Uh, our, our staff is very generous in sharing things that have worked for them with other staff members. It's something that we do very well here in this school. Um, so I think going into other classes and seeing, uh, you know, just how other, uh, other teachers are doing things, giving them feedback or having them come to your classroom and offering you feedback, I think would be very valuable in the same way that it's valuable when the administration does. Like I said, I'm a first year teacher and I feel like every time I'm exposed to a new classroom, I leave with a million ideas and things I want to implement. So I can't imagine traveling around in this school building where people are so full of ideas and have so many strong, effective practices in place that it would be anything but helpful. In fact, it kind of excites me to think about learning from all the people who are doing amazing work around me. To have Ms. Mills and Ms. Sanito come in the classroom, it's actually great for me because it feels like the whole school is safe. It makes me feel like they want to hang around us a lot because they're not just sitting in the office. They're coming around around the school and just keeping us company and checking out work. And it makes me... Um, feel like I'm impressing them by my work. I got Mr. Neal and Ms. Mills walk around in the classroom to see what's going on around the classes, observe the classes and everything, and think about what the teachers are and when they, it's good that they walk around and everything to see what's going on and they get more ideas what to have the teachers teach us. It's, to me, it's important because it shows that they want to improve the school and the education the teacher the teachers are giving us by like seeing how we perform in class and seeing how the teachers teach us so then they can have a meeting and tell the teachers what to do.